All right, we're going to try and decipher, we want to find out if we're able to print this or what size we need to take, we need to um, be able to, what is the size of the drawing, um, if it's a, a small scale, if it's a big scale. So let's try to uh, identify how to look into these different parameters. So the first thing is we're going to zoom Let's assume somebody wants us to look at this drawing and learn from it and maybe provide feedback. So let's go ahead and, and learn AutoCAD through this drawing. So the first thing is that we're going to go to the model view. And by clicking on it, we simply have to go. It's going to be, you're going to know that you're on the model view because it's going to be black by default. Um, and if you scroll, you'll be able to see that there's a lot of detail, all right? And by looking at dimensions, we can see that um, it's going to be pretty big real estate. So it's 22 feet. Just this, right, This just this section right here is 22 feet, okay? And we were able to fit one section within the whole drawing. And we have plenty of them. Every section is 22 feet. Okay, 22 feet and 6 inches. All right. So, as we said before, if you want, want to go back to the option of printing, you have to go to your pay-per-view. If you want to go back to your model, you simply click on the model view. Okay. So, let's try to see if we're able to print this drawing. The first thing we're going to do is go back to the pay-per-view or the layout and right here on layout, maybe we're on their home, so click on layout and I want to change my view. All right, on the uh, layout, you're going to click on page setup, okay? And right now it says, it says that it has no dimensions it's unknown everything is not identified okay so it wasn't set up before um, okay so before anything else uh, another way you can if you if you like I'm, I like commands much better than clicking so um, this command is pretty easy to remember if you want to see the setup and mostly because every drawing you at some point want to print it or some parts of the drawing you want to print so on the command window, you are going to open up a dialog box. And for that, it's going to be underscore point page setup. Okay, so we have the dynamic option. So it's going to complete for us. That's really good. And if you click enter, it's the same page. Okay, so that's the first thing. If we want to try to print this thing, the first thing we want to know is that, okay, we want to print it on a, on a regular letter type uh, paper. So either we modify this layout or let's say we create a new layout, which we can call example. Okay, so by default, layout, it's okay that we don't have a plot of configured. By default, if you have the little star at the beginning at the end is the default layout. If you create a new one, you'll see in a minute that we're not gonna have any stars. All right, so here you decide which printer you're gonna use, or in my case, I try to save them as PDF because then you can open the PDF in any computer or email it and then anybody can print it. Okay, so that's the first thing. If you want to just print it, send it to the printer after you configure the size. But if you want to save it as something that everybody can print it and they don't have SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD or any CAD software that can open um, DWG files, then you need to save it as a PDF. So we're going to save it as a PDF. And PDF options, you can actually create a very high definition file or just have it defined as default and the paper size so this is where we're going to choose a regular type 
paper size, which is the 11 by 8.5, because we're going to do landscape. And it's telling me already that, yes, it is landscape because of the dimensions. This red margin, this red box, means that my drawing is much bigger than my paper. So I'm not surprised. This is a pretty big drawing. And it is on a small paper that I want to print. So the first thing to say is that these type of drawings with so many details, you probably don't want to print on a small page. But let's use this example to know how to print and to know how to save in a regular standard format. But these type of drawings are detailing a lot of features and we're going to see those features. So sometimes you might want to print some features and not the whole drawing. So you want to print just the portions where you have the electrical layout. You still have to do this so that you can save your, so you can print your drawing. So right now it's going to say it's one to one scale. Just leave it like that so we don't get confused. And okay. So right now my example is not, doesn't have any stars because it's not at default setting anymore, a default um, option. Okay, so let's close it. And let's look at page setup one more time. And if we do example, now my plot size is 11 and 8.5. This is excellent. So we're going to close it. And we're going to have our drawing right here that fits our um, page. So if you were not able to get it like this, because um, for some reason, then if say your drawing is much bigger, make sure that your scale is set to the proper size okay so when you go to model it's probably let's say uh, i don't know is this scale okay so now we're talking about the second part of the video which is the viewport whatever is in this box is what you get to see okay so if you scroll down you get to fix your drawing in the box like so okay and which box i'm talking about is this one you can see these lines right here dashed lines this blue box is the tile box and that was something that the drawing came with it's a template whoever created this drawing provided the template and if you want to print the template, then you keep it like that. If you don't want to print the template, then you simply click on it, which escape to get out of the viewport, the viewport. And you can simply select it. If we are able to select it, we're still in the viewport. All right. And go to paper. And now, can delete it okay so now we're not printing the title box anymore but if you want the title box then you control Z you just type control C and you get back to it remember at this point when I scroll down or up I'm zooming into the model because I'm on the pay-per-view if I want to scroll in the drawing itself I have to go to the model view okay so that's the first thing that's how you get to print on uh, paper. So I'm going to try and show you an example where it was not very easy to, to fix. So we're saying that the size here was one to one. All right, let's look at that. In that case, the size was one to one. So again, I can scroll on my viewpoint until I make it, I, I can fix my size or I can 
fit within my paper size. Or I go to the type of scales and I find which one is the one that I want. So in one to one is going to be way too big, right? So I start by finding the scale that I want. One to this one sixteenth is good enough, or this one is much better. Three thirty seconds. This one is good too. So you have several options. You cannot either use um, the right skills provided by the standard, or you can zoom without within the viewport, or you can scale the drawing, which we don't know how to scale just yet, but we learn how to scale the drawing ourselves. So this is how you get to print the drawing 